when I have a client who's complaining of anterior knee pain that I've determined to be atypical, something related with the anterior horn of the medial meniscus or with the meniscotibial ligament, it's reflected by the content in the history and is supported by my findings of the examination. These people usually have pain that's excessive with terminal extension. They'll have a positive Steinman II test. I'll choose, amongst other things, to incorporate a meniscotibial ligament mobilization. This mobilization is intended to get the anterior horn anterior out of the way of the rolling femur in terminal extension. When she extends, that horn needs to move forward to get out of the way. Often it sticks and can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the tibia posterior to produce that anterior mobilization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place her in her, I'm going to place a, a sandbag behind her femur to block the femur. I'm going to bring her back up to terminal extension, support the leg with another sandbag underneath it, another cuff weight or sandbag. Then I'm going to stabilize femur against the sandbag. I'm going to place my hand parallel to the tibial plateau. I'm going to produce a posterior translation of the tibial plateau, the tibia and the tibial plateau in this direction at the same time allow for a little bit of external curve translation because that's the natural direction that the tibia wants to rotate as the person goes into full extension. It respects that that uh, lock, uh, that screw home locking mechanism of the knee. And so I'm going to do this. This hand is not moving. The hand that's moving is my right hand as I push posterior, allow external rotation or external curve translation of the tibia. And I'll work for several minutes both in an oscillatory fashion right up to its pathophysiological limit and then I can go to the end range, hold, and then I can ask her to gently tighten up the quadriceps. That's right. And what that does is it uses that tendon slip going off of the patella onto the anterior horn to further pull that anterior horn out of the way of the rolling femur and gliding tibia. And this helps reduce that compression of that anterior horn between the two. A really nice technique. I've had patients come in, they, they complain of their symptoms, come into the clinic, and after one session of management, their symptoms are reduced and it persists. And they can go home feeling a lot more comfortable and it allows me to get other things done in the clinic in the meantime in terms of their exercise and activation. Mm -hmm.